Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for cool new video production techniques and the one I came up with, this is mine, I haven't seen anywhere. I call this drag and drop global adjustment layers. Let's go have a look. All right. Now there's adjustment layers obviously in uh, Premiere Pro and uh, you can use them for any number of things, but if you combine a, an adjustment layer with a master clip effect, hmm, this can give us a lot of control in the project bin. We've had uh, presets forever and you can drag and drop presets on anything, but you, to update a preset, you have to go to each clip that you've applied it to. Imagine if you could go to one place and update every single preset that was applied globally. Let's go have a look. All right, so I've got three different sequences here. I've got the uh, wakeboard stuff, and thanks to uh, Kirk Pear for all of this uh, footage, uh, this, the wakeboard and the bike, and then I've got some other footage of island footage here. And Here's the scenario. Let's say that um, I need to apply a certain look or a LUT to all these different scenes, multiple different sequences, and I want to apply the same thing because maybe this is in flux. Maybe um, it's a look that will change throughout production and the director doesn't want to look at whatever this is. Maybe this is all log. And I don't want to have to go to the trouble of putting a LUT on every single clip. And then somebody says, Oh, can we update that and update everything? Okay, so let's have a look. Down at the bottom here, click and add a new adjustment layer. It's the same aspect ratio and uh, time base as the sequence. It shows up over there. I'll call it look. And I'll double click on it. And this loads into the source window. Behind there in the effects controls, there is the master clip effects for this adjustment layer. So if I went to my effects and opened up, let's look at some speed looks in here. What if I dragged something like, I'll make a big change here, this one into here. Now it's on an adjustment layer. Woo! So if I drag this adjustment layer, onto this clip, onto this sequence, go to the bike, do the same thing. And let's go to the island and do the same thing. So it's pretty heavy, obviously, but I wanted you to be able to see these kinds of changes. So here is the same look on all three. Let's select the look and in the top, go to our color workspace. Make sure that in the color workspace, we're now in the Lumetri color panel, we're clicking on the master look. This is where we're now affecting the adjustment layer. So anything I change in here will update in all three or however many um, sequences I have that adjustment layer. So let's just take the saturation way down and look at each one. Bang, 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 bang. Let's go back and uh, take the saturation. Make sure we have to go back to the master look and bump that up. Bang, bang, bang in every one of those places. For sure. That's really cool. Uh, an adjustment layer with a master clip effect. Where else would this be useful? How about a crop? Oh yeah, let's try this. Okay. So I'm going to go back over to my project bin and I've created an adjustment layer that is a crop. And sure enough, it's a crop on each one of these. Now I've got my look. Now I've got my crop. Oh, let's go back to the look. Maybe this is too insane. Go back to the master clip effect. 
Let's take this down to here. Now we've got less saturation and we've got the crop. Oh, but I want a blur over here. So then I drag this one over there and then that blurs, but it only blurs on where that adjustment layer is. For each one of these, I'm gonna go back to the editing workspace. I double click on this adjustment layer. I named it crop. Go to my effects controls, go to the effects, type in crop. And there's the crop. I just drag it into here and set that value so I can set whatever crop I want. I know this is pretty crazy to have these adjustment layers. And you can remember if you go into the media browser and click on a previous project that has these adjustment layers and you can pull all of this stuff in from other projects. So you could have a template project filled with all of these that you're bringing in um, and applying. So master clip effects with adjustment layers. Now, the, the next question is, can I add keyframes to this? I'm thinking maybe I might have uncovered a bug. I try, well, uh, let, let's have a look here. So this is the blur effect. And if we go back to the master clip, you can see that on the right, we do have um, the ability to, to have that. Right, so at the beginning of the clip, right now we're at 50 um, pixels blur. If I add a keyframe into here and then move ahead and then change that to zero, we move it ahead, you'll notice that it does not change. So I'm thinking that, you know, here it is, that's zero. It's not supposed to be blurred anymore. but it still is blurred. And if we go and delete that, so if we get rid of this one, then we'll see it's zero. So what you can do, now let's go back and, and try this. Let, let's go back to a 50% blur. What you can do is use the opacity keyframe. So if you right click on the FX badge, make sure you're on opacity. What we could do is and I'm holding down the control key on Windows Command on Mac, I've now just taken that blur value down. It's not the exact same, it's almost like a little kind of a ghosting happening on there because it is an adjustment layer with a master clip effect blur on top of a crop, on top of another color look, on top of all of this stuff, but it's all global, it's all drag and drop, and it changes throughout the project. So. I created this to give it to you to see what you come up with. I think that this has an enormous potential, especially for a lot of temp work uh, and, and this crop, you know, that kind of thing where you need to change everything in the project that quickly. All right. Hopefully you found that informative. Uh, if you have, uh, and if you're new to a video reveal, take a moment and subscribe. If you've been supporting us and we love all the support, we love the dialogue and the comments going on here, Maybe take a moment and think about supporting us on Patreon. The CFO, my wife, is on my back to try to generate uh, a little bit more uh, from Video Revealed. So over on Patreon, you can give as little as $2 a month. A freaking month! That's less than a freaking latte. So try to support us if you can so we can keep these great tutorials coming. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.